Welcome to the Western Conference semifinals and a possible closeout game five. 2K Sports presents the playoffs of the NBA and our broadcast team tonight. Greg Anthony here to my left and Steve Smith to my right and the Hall of Famer David Aldridge along the sideline. D.A., it's all yours. Well, the NBA changed the lottery odds in 2019 to encourage competition among its conference's least successful teams. But some want even more to be done. They call for eliminating the draft altogether. Another potential solution? A play-in tournament for teams 7 through 10 in each conference, which would eliminate the need for trying not to win as much as possible during the regular season. However it's done, the league has stated its desire for parity. Kevin? Great DA, thanks. And checking out Utah's opening lineup. At the forward slots, it's Bogdanovich and Ingles. Conley and Mitchell, the talented backcourt pair. And it's Gobert in at the five. And for the Warriors, Curry and Clay, the Splash Brothers, in the backcourt. Green and Cauley Stein are down low. And it's Robinson in at the small forward. Warriors to start out. Curry outside. A rebound by Mitchell. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. And the fireworks begin. Should be an amazing show tonight. How good is it to see the first one go through the net? Curry gets the bucket. So good with the ball in his hands. Curry's just as effective off the catch. Finally, the pass to Bogdanovich. Over Robinson, and again, Boyan Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich has got his second bucket of the night. And he's not going to miss many of those, especially that wide open. And early on, if you're him, you just want to see the ball go through the net and get into some kind of rhythm. The shot by Thompson, no good. The Jazz on offense. They come into this one after losing on Sunday. And look at what they did in the fourth quarter. Just totally out of sync and, and lacking in intensity. And that turned into that huge comeback. The Warriors have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Robinson finds Cauley Stein. Cauley Stein, a tremendous athlete and a dynamic finisher. Kindly the pass to Mitchell. Coley Stein with the defensive effort. What a defensive play. Gets the stop and does it without fouling. And that one's good. Green. I like the way Clay now studies a defense and makes great decisions with the ball. Conley dishes to go there. Conley surveying the D. Six on the shot clock. Here's Mitchell. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Basket good. Unselfish play right there. Curry with the patience to wait for someone to break free. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Now, here's Mitchell. Back to Conley. Ingles kicks to Conley. Shoots over Curry. Another miss by Utah. Can't fault the play call, even though... Uh -oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and don't look now, but they're starting to extend this lead. They're doing it by building it out, step by step, valuing each possession. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jams. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. And the Warriors with some changes. Kevon Looney is checked in for Cauley Stein. Alfonso McKinney comes in for Robinson. And D'Angelo Russell subbed in for Steph Curry. 
Now, here's Mitchell. He kicks to Gobert. And there's the defensive three-second call. Utah shooting their first free throw of the evening. He's an ultra-quick lefty with a great feel for how to run a team. Mike Conley is a tremendous asset for this franchise. The Warriors making a switch here. Burks has checked in. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group here. Ed Davis has checked in for Gobert. Green comes in for Joe Ingles. Royce O'Neal's checked in for Bogdanovich. And Emmanuel Moutier subbed in for Mitchell. Moutier. And no good. The try spell continuing for him. Burks' shot is good. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Moutier against Burks. Moutier, no good. Now the Warriors moving it up. Count the basket. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. I'll tell you, this was their strategy coming in. They obviously identified a weakness there inside. Here's Davis, and it's Davis with the jam. That's why you never quit battling on the offensive glass. And that's a nice reward for his effort. Uh, the flush, perfect. Working hard, beating everyone to the ball. He does this night in and night out. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Passes to O'Neal. The Jazz working the ball around now. Here's Conley. It's rebounded by Golden State. Russell with it. Now defended by Moutier. He gets that one. Just impressed with the teamwork out there. Setting the table for one another. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. It has to come. Back to Moutier. Puts up a three. And it's Russell with the rebound. You know what, though? They keep calling his number despite the difficult quarter he's had. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Now here's Conley. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. There's the pass to Moutier. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Finding a man wide open, Mike Conley does an exceptional job of leading this team. Here's Russell. On deep. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's the Golden State Warriors up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving up very few easy points. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. One of the most demonstrative players in the game, Draymond Green speaks about the importance of passion and effort on defense. That's all defense is. It is effort. It's the effort to want to communicate. It's the effort to take that one extra step to help someone. It's an effort to move up one step to get into the ball as opposed to sitting off the ball. Well, and he should know a former defensive player of the year. You know, he just takes pride in being their anchor defensively. And if he's not seeing that effort, he's going to let you know about it. So glad to have you with us here as we bring you more action from courtside at Game 5. And guys, we've seen the Warriors really take control here. Well, they used the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. You know this, the team that dictates the pace typically rules the roost. We see that here early on. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. Setting the floor for the Warriors. D'Angelo Russell out there with Alec Burks. Then there's Coley Stein. And it's McKinney at the three spot. And finished off by Davis. 
A tall guard who can see over the defense. Exum with no trouble locating the open teammate. Pass to McKinney. Now here's Carly Stein. Kicks it to Burks. Looney passes it to Russell. Lays it up off the glass. Russell's got six points. With a gentle touch inside. Russell really improving as a finisher. And the Jazz call time here. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. Robinson, the third, is checked in for Alfonso McKinney. Thompson comes in for Alec Burks, and Stephen Curry subbed in for Russell. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group. Joe Barry's checked in for Davis. Joe Ingles comes in for Jeff Green. Bogdanovich is checked in for Royce O'Neal. And Donovan Mitchell subbed in for Moutier. Now here is Robinson. Bogdanovich missing his last shot. Curry outside. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will take it. Jazz ball. Quarter number two. We're about two minutes in. Exum finds Mitchell. And then Mitchell at the dunk. Donovan Mitchell pushing the basketball down your throat. We know he's going to be aggressive time and time again. Thompson passes to Kerr. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists in the game. Jazz trail by 11. Exum dishes to Bogdanovich. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Well, you got to respect how under control Bogdanovich is. When he's penetrating quickly inside, he makes the D hit him on the way up. The Jazz shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. No good on the free throw. And Bogdanovich is a confident, efficient player. A guy who can play either the two or three spots on the floor. No luck that time either. Very surprising. He couldn't capitalize on those shots. You don't see that often. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Terrific work inside from Looney. He continues to get more comfortable down there. Exum kicks to Bogdanovich. Ingles passes to Bogdanovich. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Bogdanovich has got six. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. In. Warriors leading by 11. Outside Robinson. Golden State moving it around. Passes it to Thompson. Off target from three point range. And so it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for Utah. 
Exum with it. It's up against Thompson. Exum's shot is off. Decent look from mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. Jazz trail by 13. This is to Bogdanovich. Jacks up a three. Green with the rebound. Green's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Curry. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. That's now eight points for Steph Curry. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on body. And he comes up with the deuce. A much more physical player now than when he first entered the league. Gobert powering it home. Thompson passes to Curry. Shoots over Exum. Again, Golden State. And that set them apart today, guys. Their success with the mid-range. Jazz trail by 15. The dish to Mitchell. And Gobert kicks to Mitchell. Good D by Thompson. The Warriors have gone 6 of 10 from the floor here in the second quarter. Here's Green. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Rudy Gobert. Great decision from Draymond to go up into the D there with his big body. Such an intelligent player. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Shooting two. That free throw missing. For this team, Draymond's a true necessity. Does all the little things. Everyone understands how important he is on both ends. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Alfonso McKinney is checked in for Willie Cauley-Stein. Burks comes in for Glenn Robinson the third, And it's Russell in for Curry. There's a minute left to play here in the half. Moutier past to Davis. And almost gets it to go, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to go on Alec Burks. For Utah, they have gone 0 for 3 in the game at the line, missing all previous chances. That one is off. He hits the second from the line. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Russell with it. He's got six. Green. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Thompson against O'Neal. He dishes it to Conley. And here's Moutier. Five points in the game. Just five on the clock. From deep three-point range, Warriors with the rebound. Thompson surveying the floor. Deep two from Russell. And oh, he hits the buzzer, Peter! And give him credit. Good awareness of the time remaining. That is situational basketball. It takes a good understanding and good execution. And so it's the Golden State Warriors out in front by 17 points at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been active and effective. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Draymond. Of course, not unusual to see you going up against bigger players. So how do you take advantage of that offensively? I mean, you just got to take advantage of mismatches. You know, most of the time there's a big guy on me. If not, there's usually somebody trying to switch off. You know, I just got to know when to pop and just take advantage of the mismatches. You've done just that in the first half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. 
So one half completed in this round two conference semifinal game. Ernie Johnson with Shaq and Kenny the Jet will be breaking down all the action. Well, for the Warriors, they had a lot of doubters out there thinking they were done in this series down 3-1 but they might want to retract those comments after that first half of basketball. This team has come out on a mission, and they're not going to go quietly. They want to force game six. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? Well, you know going in, Steph Curry can make any kind of shot, but then he still finds his way to impress you. Big showing so far, one of the most entertaining players in the game. And Shaq, how'd you think the Jazz were playing? Well, they got a ton of issues to work out. Allow way too high a percentage to be shot against them. Not really showing any energy on defense. No discipline. Look at their faces, Ernie. Do they even want to be here? That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. back to 2K Sports coverage of the Western Conference semifinals. Curry has been sensational. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. So on the floor for Utah. Conley runs the point with Mitchell flanking him. Inside, we have Ingles and Gobert. And it's Bogdanovich in at the three, the small forward. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Outside Conley. And Gobert with the basket on the assist by Conley. Gobert's got his team on the board first here in the second half for Utah. Curry passes to Green. Bogdanovich against Robinson to the paint. The fadeaway, and he gets it to go. And the Warriors lead by 17. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been off. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. A shot by Curry. No good. Jazz trail by 17. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Mitchell left side. Clay Thompson grabs the miss. This is the shot you want right at the rim. He just couldn't deliver. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Curry. Looney's checked in for Draymond Green. It's Gobert with the ball for the Jams. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Here's Mitchell. Cauley Stein grabs the board. Cauley Stein's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the chart. Now here's Cauley Stein. 17 point lead, their biggest. Here's Conley. And the layup's good off the glass. Conley's got his first bucket in this one. Well, I'll tell you what, Conley still shows great foot speed. His father was a world-class track athlete. Let's it go from 14, and the jumper is on the mark. Playing at his tempo, his pace, he's been dialed in all night. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Utah calls timeout. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets.
Rams for Golden State. Alfonso McKinney is checked in for Willie Cauley Stein. Burks comes in for Glenn Robinson the third. And it's Russell in for Clay Thompson. And Utah also making a switch. Axum's checked in. You know, because Donovan Mitchell is so explosive, few guys have the energy, the effort, and the discipline to guard him on a nightly basis. The Jazz shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one misses. High character kid, well spoken. In fact, Mitchell's pre draft interviews helped him rocket up the board. And the second free throw, good. Here is Russell. Eight points for him. Now Kirk. Outside Russell. No good from outside. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. Mitchell's shot is good. Because he's so good at putting the ball on the floor and making plays, the three is going to be available to Donovan Mitchell. Now here's Curry. 12 points for him. Shoots the three. Here's Looney, covered by Mitchell. The shot by Looney, no good. Jazz trail by 13, and they're on the break. On the wing, Mitchell, guarded by Kirk. Mitchell kicks to Exum. Shot clock at six. The Jazz need to get off a shot here. And it's Looney with the rebound. I'm not sure if anyone on the team has the green light from there. Definitely not him. It's the kind of shot that gives Hero Ball a bad name and causes your coach to consider another line of work. There's Exum following the basket by Stephen Kerr. Here's Mitchell on target from 13 time feet. Out, time out. Mitchell's got six points in the quarter. Donovan Martin. Mitchell, he covers every base, even showing the touch from mid range. Timeout called the Warriors. Jazz and Davis is checked in for Joe Ingles. Royce O'Neal comes in for Bogdanovich. And it's Moutier in for Dante Exum. Now, here is Russell. Eight points for him. Looney passes to Russell. Fires the three. McKinney, no good. And it's Moutier with the ball. He brings it up for Utah. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Here's McKinney, buries the jumper to finish the break. And the Warriors lead by 15. Well, they've won the battle of transition buckets, and those easy points have helped them build this lead. It's such an advantage when you can get out and run and get a good look before the defense can set up. Golden State's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Burks dishes to Russell. Can't hit that one. The Jazz go the other way with it. Now, here is O'Neal. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. The Jazz with another miss. What I like, he hasn't stopped competing despite the off night. Excellent, excellent box out there. Keeping himself between the man and the basket. And so it's the Golden State Warriors. Their lead at 15 going into the break. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. And don't go away. We'll be right back.
How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four, Green and Cauley Stein are down low. Thompson is out there with Russell, and it's Robinson in a good three spot. That's the Warriors' five. And I like Russell's ability to create for others. He does what's best for the team. Here's Conley. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. good on that one some solid defense from Robinson and they've got a big lead not just on the scoreboard but really in the rebounding numbers as well Jazz trail by 17 and Bogdanovich kicks to Conley from 15 feet away the put back and there's Gobert putting it right back in Rudy wanted it more than anyone else. He's going to be around for a long time. Look forward to watching. Pass to Robinson. Thompson with it. Here's Green. Covered by Mitchell. Launches it. And Tremont Green gets the three. And the Warriors lead by 18. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations. But it's worth it. Utah calls timeout. The wheels have come off a little bit leading up to this timeout. He is taking some low percentage shots, and it's killing the floor of their offense. More motion, more ball movement. That should lead to better looks for him and for the entire team. Davis about a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now Conley with it he kicks it to Mitchell back to Conley from outside the arc the Warriors pull it in Green's got six rebounds now in the game down low whistle blows basket is good so a chance here for a three-point play. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Curry's checked in for Russell. Quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Mitchell against Thompson. Outside Conley. Back to Mitchell. For the three. Cauley Stein grabs the ball. Cauley Stein's got rebound number five here tonight. Good work defensively by Conley. Jazz trail by 21. Bogdanovich, that's for two. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Efficient performance from him. Not the case for everyone else on his team. Curry passes to Cauley Stein. Back to Curry. Good for best at number seven tonight on a not-so-unlucky 13 shots. They are just killing him on the interior. And the pass to Gobert. Kicks to Mitchell. Beyond the arc. Knocks down the three ball. Mitchell's got nine points now in just the second half. After a lackluster first half, he's taken charge offensively. We'll see how the defense responds. 
Timeout called the Warriors. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. for our Jordan player of the game, Steph Curry. And the way he's made his mark with his work inside, he's just been a slasher tonight. Always moving, getting to the basket at will, and just seemingly taking advantage of a D that was reluctant to get in his way. He was not intimidated at all by the pressure of their situation tonight. There was some tension in the building. You could feel it as these fans know what's at stake. But that only served as motivation for him. Look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Thompson in the post. Covered by Mitchell. Basket counts. And the Warriors lead by 20. Exceptional work by Thompson. He can lose the defense with his ball handling. It's stolen by Curry. Knocks it loose. And stolen by Bogdanovich. Again, the Jazz score. And Bogdanovich plays with good rhythm and pace to his game. Has no problem going to the pull-up J when the D lays off. Curry attacking. Cloak loose. Rebound, Utah. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. Now, here's Mitchell. Four on the shot clock. There's the triple. And the Jazz, another three. And, and guys, that's just about going to do it here for game five. Always pivotal. And now we look ahead to a critical game six. But a huge win tonight for the Warriors. When you consider the difference in their field goal percentages, the other team has to be happy that this wasn't a bigger loss. This team was on fire. Yeah, Kevin, it, it, it's always frustrating when you can't throw a rock on the ground and the other guys just can't seem to miss. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and looking at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Steph Curry. Shouldering the load for them all night offensively. He came in focused, ready to go, and he delivered. There's a minute left in the fourth quarter. Outside, Green. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And it's easy to give up after a play like that, but this team needs to keep fighting. It's just one trip down the court, but you have to have short memory in this league or you won't last long. Here's Pascal. Shot clock at five. Bradley with some nice D. And so it's Moody with it. He'll bring it up for Utah. 17-point game. And Green slams it in. 
And you got to like that they found something positive here, something that maybe carry overs into the next game. They put together some great possessions here at the end. It's a shame they could have used this run much earlier. And here's Evans. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. People were writing their obituary before this game. <laughs> but this win cast the series in a whole new light now. Greg. And listen, they still got to win two more. But after seeing how they perform tonight, is there any doubt, Kevin, they're capable of it? I mean, we could be in the midst of a major comeback. No doubt at all. You're right. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Steph. Congrats on the win. How does this team continue to be the most cohesive unit possible? To me, it's a commitment. But we know that that's going to you know, put us in a good position to win every single night. Is if we bring the effort, um, multiple efforts at, at each possession, where you might get beat, but you got to get back into play. God's going to help you. You help him. Uh, you know, we care about each other, so we want to make sure that nobody's left out to dry. And I think that's a big, big factor. And uh, you know, we're just, we're just relentless on defense end. You guys have been one of the best defensive teams in the league the last few years. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. It's time for us to say goodbye. We hope you've enjoyed our second-round coverage of the NBA Western Conference playoffs. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long.